It's the first of 280 trees the council plans to cut down, but protesters moved in overnight in a last-minute bid to stop the felling. The group have set up tents and are building tree houses. They say the council are felling more trees than they admit. Basically because there's 400 trees, above 400 trees, 413 at minimum uh, trees to be felled. Uh, the council have hidden this detail in uh, the renovation projects and we intend uh, occupying the trees, uh, building tree houses in them and preventing the council from continuing the work uh, for as long as we can. Up to 70 people broke into the park here in Wally Range. They climbed a security fence before setting up a camp inside the park. Up to 20 people spent the night here, but now they've been asked to leave. A team of officials approached the campsite to tell the protesters they were trespassing and needed to move. One protester has been arrested, but police say it's been peaceful. The council say the actions of the group is holding up work on the park. Certainly they're taking uh, their protest seriously. Uh, they've come into the park uh, and in essence what they've done so far is delay the project quite significantly over the last two weeks or so. There's a suggestion from the protest group that we're returning the, the, the park to its original Victorian design. Yes, we are looking back at, at the past and respecting it, but we're bringing in state-of-the-art facilities in terms of sport. This is what the council wants Alexandra Park to look like, complete with tennis courts and football pitches. They insist they'll carry on working towards these plans, but the protesters say they'll be here for as long as it takes. Adam McLean, ITV News, Manchester.